بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولاه وبعد الحمد لله one of the great traditions we have and I've been a part of and I've experienced is seeking the blessed hadith of the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم traveling to narrate and to collect and to تحمل to carry the blessed words of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and then to master that and do that well and understand that and then pass on the hadith uh, this is a very beautiful tradition that brings much joy into the heart, much strengthens our iman, connects us to the Prophet wasallam, who actually said, may Allah illuminate the face of the person who hears what I've said and then passes it on to others. So we get the dua of the Prophet wasallam, and this was a secret or a, 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 you know, a blessing for the muhaddithin that they had illuminated faces because of the dua of the Prophet wasallam. And I have been a part of and attended such gatherings and one of them was in in the suburbs of Damascus, a place called Erbin, uh, like a small village outside Damascus. And this was when I was studying in uh, the city of Damascus over, I think it was in the year 2009 maybe, Allah Alam. And I was studying in the institute and we finished and I was on my way to this town. First time I've ever been there, so I found out where the bus uh, was that went there I told the the bus driver can you get, let me off at this masjid Masjid Jami as Salam I remember the name of the masjid and you know I, I was dressed in my Islamic attire I had a Maghrebi thob on the jalaba and he literally dropped me off in pitch black darkness right it was there was no bus lights or stops and he just pointed in a direction he said go that way to the masjid so I was a bit worried but I got off the bus First time ever in this area and I started walking in the direction and saw some lights. You could see some lights in the distance. And eventually I got to like a, a street which was quite, you know, empty. And this young man with the moped just pulls up next to me and says, Are you going to the masjid? Are you going to the jami? I said, Yes, jami is salam. He goes, Jump on board. And I've got my uh, Moroccan jalaba on and I think he realized he's here to learn the hadith. And he took me, literally gave me a little ride of about 30 seconds to the masjid. I went inside, and alhamdulillah, it was a gathering of the recital of Ash-Shama'il al-Muhammadiyya, the Muhammadan characteristics compiled by Imam al-Tirmidhi, over 400 hadith describing the beautiful traits, characteristics, features, appearance, belongings, food, clothing, and other aspects of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, and the gathering was led and the hadith were narrated by Shaykh Muhammad Ali Aqubi. And I attended from uh, hadith number 8, I even remember writing it down, I didn't make the beginning, I was slightly late because of my classes and, and coming to the location. Uh, but from hadith number 8 to all the way to the end, I sat there and listened to 400 or so hadith, alhamdulillah, of description and narration about the Prophet Sallallahu And it was an amazing gathering, I was sat at the back because I was late and I had to sit at the back with a few brothers. But I remember during the gathering, the Shaykh actually spoke to the brother next to me saying, Oh, so and so, Abu Anas, you know, how are you, what are you doing back there? I can see you kind of thing. And the, 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 the volunteers there, they were giving out um, pieces of baklawa and biscuits and little cups of tea. And we were there focused on you know, narrating these hadith. And meticulously, the Shaykh was telling us the voweling of certain letters and the, the, who this narrator is. You know, this is Imam Bukhari, the teacher Imam um, Tirmidhi, Qutaybah ibn Sa'id, who's Madani, who's a teacher of um, Imam Tirmidhi, and you know, and, and his teacher was Imam Malik, and so forth. So we were connecting to these great luminaries, the great tradition of these chains of transmission back from our teachers and shayukh to the author Imam Tirmidhi, to the Sahaba, to the Prophet wasallam. And the Shaykh was giving little commentary on certain hadith here and there. And this was a gathering after Isha in the evening. And I remember returning home after an amazing gathering with some qasaid singing and then long dua of the Shaykh at the end, a beautiful dua. Like just in time for Fajr or just when Fajr had started, like four or five in the morning. And I will never forget that night how it touched me and how it lifted my spirits. And you know, that Iman boost we always want was just by sitting there reading, listening, following the words about the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And you know, you, you may not understand most of them because they're in Arabic, but just to know that these words are what the companions said about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to the companions, they are descriptions of his beautiful appearance, of his clothing, of his beautiful hair, of his eyes, 
of the, the qohal he used to put in his eyes or the comb he used to use or say the Aisha saying, I used to comb the head of the Prophet Sallallahu and you saw the, the relationship between the, the Prophet Sallallahu and his wives. He used to tell them stories at night. It's, it was an amazing experience, one I will never forget and I remember very vividly till this day. And Alhamdulillah, in this tradition, I've attended gatherings reciting the whole of Sahih al-Bukhari here in the United Kingdom in Ashton. Many uh, brothers and sisters attended also Sahih Muslim in Damascus with Sheikh Muhammad Ali Aqubi. We read the, the, the Musnad the sahih of Imam Muslim, the, the Sunan of Abu Dawood, the Jami of Imam Tirmidhi, the longer canonical books of Hadith, Alhamdulillah. And these have been amazing gatherings where miracles have occurred. You know, one, on one occasion, uh, the Sheikh, he saw a dream of himself narrating the hadith. And as he was narrating the hadith, he was mentioning the name of the narrator. So so and so narrates from so and so from so and so that the Prophet said. And he said he saw in his dream that these people were sitting next to him in the line of the of the chain of transmission. And as, as soon as the Sheikh said that in the gathering and the next day, this was the second day, you know, after the first night the dream was the blessed dream was seen. One of the brothers, and I think a couple of the brothers in the gathering, they said, we saw the same dream. We were literally had the same dream last night that you were narrating the hadith and we saw the people sitting next to you, the narrators of the hadith, you know, who lived many uh, hundreds of years ago. But that was the connection we had in such a gathering that we were connecting to real people who were servants of the sacred knowledge, who were passing on the traditions about our noble Prophet wasallam, about our deen. And it's, it's an honor just to be in such gatherings and the blessings that came down. And one of the brothers who was there, he saw a beautiful dream where he saw one of the awliya that had passed away, Sheikh Mustafa Turkmani, rahimahullah ta'ala. He passed away very recently at that time, maybe a year or two before. Uh, he was a great uh, saint. He was a great man of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, a pious man, a scholar. And this was a student of his who was actually quite heartbroken that his teacher had passed away. And he was searching for someone to connect to and, you know, uh, find that kind of uh, spiritual uh, lift and boost that he'd had with his beautiful sheikh and teacher and he came to a hadith gathering and after the first night he said in the second day as well I remember that I saw my sheikh in my dream last night and he told me and he said that a calamity has been removed and, and turned away from Damascus due to the recital of the hadith of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. so these gatherings ward off evil they ward off calamities and difficulties so if you attend them you will take that blessing and you will take that protection into your life, into your home, inshallah ta'ala. And these gatherings were attended by young people from the age of five onwards. Even babies were carried to these gatherings, would be noted down as attending these gatherings and being there when the beautiful hadith of the Prophet were narrated. And the elders would be there who were into their 70s, and 80s and 90s just to listen to the blessed hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's a beautiful tradition that I've been a part of and I wanted to share with you all. So I hope you can take inspiration from that and become a part of such gatherings, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.